as part of setting up entity framework core we have installed the NuGet packages then we have set up the model then we have configured the db context class we have implemented these steps in our previous sessions in our today's session we are going to set up connection string do you know what is connection string it's a string that contains information that we use to connect to the database this is our MVC project. Here we have created the data context class by name tutorial db context. Just to recap, inside the dependencies, you can find the packages. Here we have installed the necessary NuGet packages to work with Entity Framework Core. And tutorial is the model. Now we have to configure the connection string so that our application will know the database to work with. We are going to create connection string inside app settings.json file. This file contains the information in the form of key value pairs. Let's create a key by name connection strings. Now we have to give the value. This is the value. Let's understand connection string in detail. Here, data source specifies the name of the instance of SQL Server. Here we are connecting to the SQL Server which is installed locally. So the name is localdb slash MSSQL localdb. Then, initial catalog specifies the name of the database. In our case, tutorial DB is the name of the database. Now, please remember, this is not yet available in the server. We have to create it. Uh, one more thing, instead of data source, you can write it as the server. Instead of initial catalog, you can write it as database. Next, we have integrated security. This specifies the mode of authentication. In our case, we have specified the value as true. So Windows authentication is considered. We don't have to specify the username and password. If it was false, then we had to specify the username and password that we use to connect to the database. Now our application has sufficient information to connect to the database. Are we done with setting up entity framework code for our application? No. We have yet to register the DB context class with ASP.NET code framework. We will see that in our next session. Thanks for your time. See you soon in the next video. Thank you.